Growing up, I played a lot of Pokemon and Animal Crossing with my neighborhood friends. I remember trying to hit each other with axes in Animal Crossing Wild World and watching the floats ride by in the Pokemon Platinum Wi-Fi Parade. I put a ton of time into my DS games and multiplayer. My parents weren't really interested in getting my sister and I a 3DS since it looked just like the DS and DSi that we already owned. But when Animal Crossing New Leaf was announced, everything changed. My mom bought my sister and I a 3DS when New Leaf came out in 2012 because we were such big Animal Crossing fans. This is when I started to play a lot more online. Nintendo 3DS is the console where I really started to fall in love with online multiplayer. When Nintendo announced that they were shutting down the 3DS online servers on April 8th, 2024, I knew I wanted to do as much online 3DS gaming as I could. So I decided to organize a week of Friend Safari over on my Twitch channel. This would be a week dedicated to adding friends on the 3DS and shiny hunting in the Pokemon X and Y friend safari. But before we get into the shiny hunts, let me explain a little bit more about the 3DS and the friend safari itself. Adding friends on the 3DS is a lot more annoying than adding a friend on the Nintendo Switch. If person A is trying to add person B on the 3DS, both people need to mutually type in each other's friend codes. You won't be notified if someone else is trying to add you like on the Switch. So it's a little annoying. Once you've added someone on the 3DS and you're both online, you would then connect to the internet on the player search system or PSS. It's time to friend Safari. It is worth noting though that you do not need to be connected to the internet in order to use the friend Safari. And now that the 3DS online servers are shut down, you can still friend Safari. But what is the friend Safari? The friend Safari is a super fun post-game area in Pokemon X and Y that I never really did much with 10 years ago when these games first came out. After you beat the main story in the Kalos Pokemon League, you head to Lumio City to speak with Professor Sycamore while you will then head to Kilode City from the Lumio Station. Here at Kilode City is where the friend Safari is. Each 3DS friend code has a unique friend Safari and Pokemon type. Your friend Safari will have three Pokemon in it if you've beaten the Elite Four and two if you haven't. So for example, my friend Safari is an electric type and it has some banger Pokemon like Stunfisk, Pachirisu, and my third slot Pokemon is Zebstrika. The third slot Pokemon in a friend safari is always the rarer Pokemon, and that third slot can only be unlocked if you and someone are both online and connected to the internet and the player search system. So once you've added somebody on the 3DS and they've added you back and you're both online and connected to the PSS, you've unlocked each other's third slot Pokemon, and you've unlocked it forever. This was the main feature that would be going away with the online shutdown. Access Accessing those third slot Pokemon as well as just adding more friends on the 3DS. Now that we're a few minutes into the video, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, what's so special about the friend Safari? Why are we shiny hunting here? Well, that is because the shiny odds in the Pokemon X and Y friend Safari are one. I said the odds are one. I said the shiny odds are shiny odds in the friend safari have been a bit of a debatable topic online. When we talked about it in my Twitch chat, a few people went back and forth about it. Some people say it's a one in 512 for everyone. And some say it's only 512 if you have the shiny charm. Otherwise it's one in 819. When I looked online, there were countless of conflicting articles and threads just discussing the shiny odds. But I've linked down below a source that confirms for me that the odds are one in 820 without the shiny charm and one in 586 with the shiny charm. So for a week of friend safari, I wanted to try and add a ton of people onto my 3DS friends list, as well as get a good amount of variety when it came to friend safari Pokemon. I also wanted to make sure I streamed the majority of my friend safari adventures so that a ton of people were all online at the same time and could unlock that third slot Pokemon. Here's how it went. My first day of Friend Safari ended up being a little bit of a silly day, mainly because I streamed this entire day with my microphone backwards. It was very loud. Okay, whenever you see the shadow of Spiritomb, the outline kind of looks blue and I keep falling for it every time. Every stream we would start off by adding people on the 3DS using a community made spreadsheet. I want to take a moment to shout out the epic and incredible gamer Joey BTV who created and organized this incredible spreadsheet for the community. This was super helpful when it came to sharing 3DS friend codes. I'd also like to thank two gamers in the community, Latias Fan and Coldest Case who helped make this spreadsheet look absolutely incredible. After spending around 30 minutes 
it's adding people on the 3DS, it would be time to friend Safari. My day one target was a shiny spear tomb and a ghost type friend Safari. To avoid having to listen to me and my backwards mic, we are just going to skip to the shiny we found on day one. I think nothing. I don't ever think about anything, but... But no, no, watch out! Don't step on my 3DS! Okay, she almost, she almost, she almost got us there. It felt good to find a shiny on day one, and we named it after the banger Gen 4 song we were listening to at the time we found it. Nothing else shined for us, so it was on to day two, and finally figuring out that my mic was turned around. I've been streaming for three years, by the way, just in case you couldn't tell. No idea what happened. I, I don't think unplugging it and then plugging it back in during stream is a good idea, so I'll just wait. I believe so. Is this different? That is different? We're back. Pixel bees, you're modded. It was just backwards? <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> I think it was literally my microphone was just backwards. <sighs> it's hard being the smartest person on Twitch.tv right now. Remember 10 minutes ago when my mic was backwards? I am locked in for this spirit tomb right now. I've never been more locked in in my entire life. Day two of friend safariing was spent in a different ghost type friend safari, but still with spirit tomb. I wanted to see a little bit more variety, but still look for the blue tomb. For a few hours, we weren't finding anything, so the conversation resorted to childhood stories and television. Y'all remember Maisie the Mouse? My mom got me like a Maisie the Mouse plate as a kid, and it's just like a shitty little kid's plate, but we had it for the longest time, and like six months ago or something, my dad, I think, accidentally. I don't know who broke it. Nobody will fess up, but I didn't break it. I would, I would own up to it if I did. Somebody broke it. <laughs> Maisie the Mouse is a cartoon mouse moosey that is absolutely iconic. I don't even remember what happened in the show. It was a show, right? There was an alligator in Maisie the Mouse. When did the Backyardigans start airing? I don't- I did not watch the Backyardigans until I was older. There's no way Backyardigans was 2002. 2004? Okay, y'all want to hear something crazy? Okay, so as a kid, I had this Lala plush that I loved so much. And it had a tag on the back of it. And I used to love to like run my fingers through the tag just because it felt nice. I don't know. And I ran my finger- fingers through the tag so much that the tag basically became like a string. But I loved that Teletubby plush so much. It was just like a stuffed Lala. One day, I don't remember what, what the specifics, but my mom, I think, started to hate that plush because it was so gross because it was just old. I had it for so long and I didn't want to get a new one because I liked the plush as it was. But my mom wanted to buy me a new one because the tag was like practically gone. She thought I wouldn't notice if she just bought a new one. That's not true. One day I saw, I found, my mom bought me a new Lala plush and was gonna try to replace it. He had a bath and got a new tag is what my mom was gonna say. That's messed up. That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up. This was three years ago. <laughs> no, I was like in first grade kindergarten or something. I don't know. Cold blooded. Oh, mamma mia. Where are my phantom believers at? The shiny is pretty incredible. This is this is pretty great. A woman. I would love to throw a luxury ball, but I'm thinking, honestly, I would love to catch this in just a, a Pokeball. Okay. Little crit. First friend safari shiny of the day. A phantom. I like Autumn. I think Autumn or Willow is pretty good. Yeah, get your get your nature guesses in here. I'll guess quiet. And it is docile. Should we keep going for Spear Tomb, y'all? Or do we want to check out a different friend safari? What are we thinking? Bug friend safari with pincer in it. We decided to eventually pivot to hunting in a bug type friend safari. Just to keep things interesting since Spear Tomb was clearly not being kind. But nothing shined for us the rest of day two. So it was on to day three. A little Butterfree mo- I would be very pleased with- with Butterfree. He's just staring at us all. Day three, we continued on hunting in the bug type friend safari. This day was super fun because a lot of people were finding shiny Pokemon in the chat. 
Oh, <gasps> Kelly, what'd you find? Mancino. Let's go, dude. Congrats. You love to see it. Also, today was my cat, Cleffa's birthday. It's not her birthday now, but it was her birthday on stream. We got a birthday, girl. Sometimes if you just stare at Cleffa, she'll jump up on your lap, but... I expect every single person watching this video to comment down below, happy birthday, Cleffa. Another year of being a BB. Something Cleffa has been doing a lot lately is drooling. No, you can have a Cheeto. I've showed y'all this picture before on stream, but it's been a bit, so I, need, I feel like I should show it to you all again. It is the funniest photo I have ever seen in my entire life, and the funniest photo I think I've ever taken. Okay, this is our orange cat. His name is Kip. Look at this. My man got the wrong size shoe. It is so funny. Iconic. Oh! Let's go. I... Let's go. Hey. Once again, not the gamer we were looking for, but I'll take it. We're keeping up the streak of one poke a day. Maybe I need to look away. Okay, there we go. We named the third friend safari shiny after Colin Mockery because we were talking about whose line is it anyway. And then as per usual, found nothing the rest of the stream. I did change up my friend safari hunt to an electric friend safari to see if I could find one of my favorite gen six Pokemon, Dedenne. I decided to try and do some shiny hunting offline during the night just to see if I could get anything while watching other friends' streams. Instead, I got trade baited. And this was something that was happening a lot with the player search system during the last week of online 3DS play. People, well, most likely children, try to do random trades with random people to show off their shiny legendary Pokemon, making you think that they're about to trade that to you only to cancel the trade altogether. It was pretty funny to see happen while I was recording, and it happened to a lot of people in the community as well during streams. This is a very silly 3DS online moment that I am gonna miss. Day 4, I continued on in the electric type friend safari looking for Dedenne and the drought began. Up to this point, I was able to find at least one shiny Pokemon during the day, but this friend safari was not kind to me. Go into the hammock! No! We spent around 4 hours on Thursday hunting, but ended up empty handed. I also hunted after stream, and if you remember the trade baiting I literally just mentioned, I accidentally did that to someone and I still feel pretty bad. Will they be trying to trade me a Japanese shiny Lugia? Do they want my shiny Killfish, which I would argue is more valuable? Oh. I really assumed the worst of this person. Now I feel kind of bad. I just showed them a shiny Pokemon and then canceled the trade, thinking that they were going to show me a shiny legendary and then cancel the trade. Now I feel kind of bad. Jojo, wherever you are, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry about that. After accidentally trade baiting someone and not finding anything on Thursday night, it was time for the last day of shiny hunting in the friend safari on stream. We were well over odds in this electric type friend safari and I was determined to at least find anything. I was not going to give up until this friend safari gave me at least one shiny. We ended up not finding anything on the final day, but I couldn't really be too upset because of how incredible the whole week went. So many people were able to fill up their friend safaris with a variety of Pokemon options, and we were all able to hunt collectively as a community. This was such a wholesome week and reminded me of why I love Pokemon so much and how it can bring people together all across the world. This week really took me back to sitting in the cul-de-sac and playing Pokemon with my friends. And now as an adult, this whole week just made me feel like a kid again, gaming with a community and just having a good time. But because I wasn't able to find anything in that electric type friend safari on stream did not mean it was over. The next day, after I had just woke up, I decided to get some encounters in. I was determined. And finally, after around 40 minutes, I found something. Oh, finally it's over. The drought is over. Okay. Oh my god, I look cr I haven't even like washed my face this morning or anything. Oh my god, the drought is over finally. Holy moly. I am 
pro I wish I was counting, honestly. I'm severely over odds. Holy moly, like the past three days I've been looking for anything to shine in the Friend Safari. I wanted to Dene, but you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Good lord. My goodness, what a drought. What a drought. Wow. What a drought. Goodness gracious. Let's go. What a drought that was. Okay, I didn't look at I didn't look at the nature. I'm gonna guess quiet. Jolly. Thank you so much to everybody who showed up and helped out with a week of friends safari. And thank you for watching the video till the end. This week was truly such a blast and really reminded me again, as I said earlier, why I love Pokemon so much. And thank you again to everybody in the community who helped out with that spreadsheet. I love Pokemon and I just feel super grateful for this community. So thanks for a lovely week and I'll see you in the next video.